Here's a short video. I've got my uh, R Charger uh, 4010B. I've only got it connected right now to a thousand watt. Meanwhile, power supply. I just ordered a uh, two thousand watt uh, power supply, so I can only crank up this on a twenty amp uh, circuit here. <clears throat> it's actually staged out here on the uh, in the backyard. But anyway, you can see I've got two uh, charges running. I've got um, on the left, which has been running for about thirty eight minutes. I've got a single six cell uh, pulse five thousand milliamp forty five C battery. Um, charging at, I think, uh, I started off charging it uh, at uh, 5 amps. You can see it's right now it's at 2.27 amps. And you can see the balance on each of the cells where it's currently uh, balancing them out. And then on the right, I just started charging four um, 5,000 milliamp um, packs. Got a uh, stack of some Sky LiPos here that I fly in my. Um, one set up or a couple of them go in my uh, 550 and then uh, another set goes into my 700 so anyway I've got them going through you can see I've got it's the dual charger so I've got some balance leads coming out of uh, each side uh, that's the alarm going off right now to signal that the uh, uh, this pulse here that I was charging is now finished um, I've got this pair board here that I've been using these pair boards from uh, EP buddy for a long time now uh, but essentially, it's just, you know, even though I've got the pair board, I'm just charging one, one six cell uh, LiPo. There's the screen again. You can see the uh, uh, 3,145 uh, milliamps were, were uh, charged into, this, into the battery. Uh, and again, I was, I'm not running this at peak capacity right now. I was just using some of my first charges on it, so I'm getting used to the menus and what the options are and where to save things. Uh, and then on the right side, you've got the uh, the charge that's going on at 10 amps. Uh, you can see the amperage in the upper right-hand corner for the uh, uh, the four packs that I'm charging here. So at a 1C rating, you know that would be 5, 10, 15, about 20, 20 amps. So I'm I'm charging it at half of a 1C rating in this particular case. So it, this should take um, about two hours to complete. Uh, when I'm at home, I don't I, I Try to stay either below a 1C rating or, or at a 1C rating, just because I've got the time. You know, put them out here on the patio, go ahead and let them run. So, anyway, um, I haven't looked at any of the logging information or that stuff on here. I do like having the dual chargers. I do have uh, very often uh, um, batteries that may have some some different uh, cell counts, or or maybe they're they're at a, a different um, depletion stage. I mean, some may be. Uh, you know, 80% capacity or, or at 20, another set maybe at 50%. Um, obviously, I like charging the batteries that are that are at similar usage or, or have similar drain on them. Um, and this will give me some of that flexibility to do that by having the two different um, chargers in here. I've used two eye chargers in the past, the 3010s. So I'm going to use this guy at the field. I've got a... Uh, um, a uh, <coughs> gosh, I can't even think of the name of it. A uh, charger. I've got a, not a charger, but a uh, um, generator. I've got a generator that we take to the field. So that thing will generate 2,000 watts for this thing and allow us to, uh, you know, crank some of the amperage up and do some fast recharges while we're at the field. But anyway, that's it. One of my first uh, charges here on with the uh, iCharger 4010B or uh, iCharger Duo. I'm sorry.